So for today's project, we have the furnace in the new house has completely stopped working. And I've been fighting with this just a little bit and trying to figure out what's going on. And the inducer motor here is not always getting the correct voltage, if at all. So what you can do to test this is this little cable connector. The black line is your hot, um, and then the white line is your neutral. So if you take a meter and connect to ground, or the neutral line and run it to the hot line, you can see what voltage is coming from the control board down here. Now the control board, um, <clears throat> what's going on with it is when it calls for heat, the control board should be sending voltage to the inducer motor and then running that inducer motor. But what this is doing is it's frequently not sending any voltage or when it does, it'll send it for just a little bit, then it'll quit working. Um, as you can tell from the start of the video I had to mute the audio because it was unusable. The motor is extremely loud um, which tells me that the bearings are going bad at it. So I know the control board is definitely an issue and I've ruled out any other issues with the, uh, the control board. It's, it, that's the first step. The inducer motor is the first step so if it's not getting voltage to the inducer motor it's got to be the control board. Um, but uh, I also know that the inducer motor is going bad as well. So I'm going to replace both of these, both the control board and the inducer motor, and hopefully that will resolve the issues that I'm having. Okay, so we are back to the furnace project. There have been several days with no heat here in the house. Um, fortunately, the house has a decorative fireplace, and we've been able to get some heat out of that. It's not a lot, but we managed to keep the house above 60. So that's pretty awesome. And I have the new inducer motor. It arrived. And we're going to go through the process of installing that. And I also need to still receive the new control board, which is down in the lower section here. But we're gonna work on this inducer motor right now. Hopefully, I've been told by the company I got it from, it was repairclinic.com. I've been told that it's supposed to arrive today. And we're usually pretty good about pricing and delivery and orders. Um, my only concern is, is it's not showing up in their ordering system. But I called support and they said that it definitely shipped. So, hopefully. So, uh, remove these collars. So there is the inducer assembly that is out. And I don't know if you can hear that or not. Hear the noise from those bearings. It's not bad, but it was definitely making a lot of noise, especially at speed, and I wanted to change those out. So there's the new one in comparison, and there's no noise at all on the new one. Quiet as can be.
And there is a new one of these that came too. So I think I'll install that as well. It does look like there is a polarity to that. I'll notice it more on this one where this side is deeper, deeper hole than this side. Kind of goes in a little bit. So I want to match that up the same way. So that's going to be on the outside. This is the inside. This gasket here needs to be replaced. It's old and brittle. I don't know if that's a concern or not. It almost looks like a crack on that. the heads of these screws are the standard size of a screw bit so when you pull it out the screw bit out you can use that to drive it in yeah we'll put our vacuum line back on here check all our fittings and connections ground lines on power's connected back up I never disconnected these that's still connected that's still connected that's still connected and I think this thing may be cracked in the back which could be causing a vacuum leak which could be causing part of my pressure issues um, but this was not starting so even after a full reset so I'm still convinced that the control board is bad I know that the motor was bad because you could hear it but I want to check this thing I'm gonna go look online and see if you can get a replacement for that or whether I need to take it out and maybe find some way to seal it back up. But I think this is cracked in the back, just looking through the hole there. Um, so while I'm waiting for the next part to arrive, I'll go research that. The repair clinic website did have the part that I was looking for. Um, and you can, as you can tell from the pictures of the part, uh, there is definitely no split there. There's no crack. Um, design so I do have an issue with that and I need to fix that before I can put the furnace back together. Alright so after all that wonderful effort of getting everything back in place I got on my computer and got online and found out that this air box um, has vents up here at the top where the air comes through or is it the bottom? I think I'm looking upside down at the bottom where the air goes into and um, it does not look like it should have a crack there. And it, I can feel it from the back here. So there's definitely a crack, definitely an air leak, definitely going to be causing a problem for our vacuum. So I've got one on order. It cost, fortunately, only about $45. But for the time being, we need heat. And our control board is coming today. So I am going to pull this out, everything back out. And just use some of the metal duct tape to uh, tape the back side of that so it will be okay to use for the weekend.
Okay, now that we got that out, you can see that we have a major crack in the back of this air box. So I need to temporarily fix that. I'm gonna just stick some tape on that for now <laughs> and get it all back together. I've got a new one of these in order. It's like 45 bucks, 53 after shipping. And then we can have working heat for the weekend. Looks like that should have stayed in those holes. Ooh, that's falling apart. That's fragile. FedEx just arrived a few minutes ago. Here is our new board. That looks good. Okay. It's all connected up off. Pretty sure the breaker is off. I'm going to double check just to be sure. I took a picture of this just to make doubly sure because there was no way able to label this block which space that went in and that goes right there. Tighten these up and move the camera so you can see what I was doing.
So just to recap what we've got had going on here, um, furnace was not running. Every once in a while it would come on, run for a little bit, shut off. Um, it started getting worse and worse. The error code that was blinking on the control board said it was low pressure switch. So here's the diagram in the front. So the lower low pressure switch, the air pressure uh, was not being detected. So again, what's happening is, is the inducer motor runs, which is handling the exhaust gas that's going out to the outside. And that inducer motor wasn't running to give enough pressure to trip those switches so that the rest of the system could run. Um, traced it down to sporadic voltage coming to the inducer motor. Also noticed the inducer motor was getting pretty bad. The bearings were making a lot of noise. So I changed that out. Um, it is quieter, I can tell that right now, sitting right next to it, um, much quieter. So I changed out the inducer motor, and I changed out the control board, and we're running good. While I was working on it, I discovered that my air intake is cracked. Um, I temporarily taped that over, just so I could have heat. I got one order, it's 50 some bucks. Um, I may even wait till spring to change that out, as long as the tape's holding and everything seems to be running good. Um, it's, as long as there's an air seal there, I'll get my pressure to close those switches and let the furnace run. Um, I use the metal back tape, so it should be just fine um, for a couple of months until it gets warm out again. And we continue to have heat. So I'm going to be pretty happy with this. I'm going to go monitor the temperature in the house, make sure it comes up where it should be. But optimistically, hopefully, I think we are good. I'm gonna go do a happy dance and enjoy some heat finally in the basement. It is, is really cold down here. I haven't been able to do much down here at my desk. And I do feel heat coming out of the vent, which is awesome. So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.